This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 70, for Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Let's ink it up, baby. <laughs> uh, we have a little housekeeping to do. We do, okay. We do. Uh, is, it, it is, has... it the pen, is it the pens behind my desk? No, that's... Chaos to be that's managed. A whole, that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's housekeeping. a whole nother housekeeping. Yep. Uh, it has been requested that we make a correction to a statement or two that we made a couple of weeks ago. Uh, whichever Canadian Pen Club came to the Detroit Pen Show two years ago did not repeat. Did not rent a bus. They carpooled. Apparently, it's very important to them that the distinction is made, and no beverages were involved. So there you go. All right. Dallas, baby. Yes. Oh my God, we had the Dal best time. And D Dallas is quickly becoming my uh, uh, top. I don't know. I, I can't even. I can't even count. Top three, four show. Would you say? You know, we. There are very few shows we don't say that about, though. I mean, everyone has its own flavor, if you will. Yes. Um, all of them have. Um, a specific focus or a, a certain vibe. I mean, some are more vintage, some are more modern, some are just nonstop fun from the minute it opens till the minute you close and even after. Oh, you're talking about Ohio? Columbus? I'm talking about all... I mean, Dallas was a blast. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're right. They all have their own unique flavor. Yep. Um... I just, I just really, I don't know what it is about Dallas. I just really like it. I, I, I well, have a. It, go ahead. Oh well, I just, you know, it's just, it's. Warm. We always, you know, and it's not necessarily how well we do, but I mean, we always find great pens there. This year is no exception. Yep. Um. It's just, uh, it, it's the right time of year to be uh, heading out of Wisconsin and, and going to a little bit of warmer climate. Although, you know, it's not like ninety something. Yeah, it's not that cold here, <laughs> but you know, uh, it was ninety six in Dallas. That uh, was when we showed up. crazy. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Well, we also have made this trip what four or five times. Yeah, I lost count. I meant to look it up. I have a. I actually have a. <laughs> I is, think this is our fourth Dallas show, which means yeah. if you include the buying trip that we went on that Easter weekend, which is still one of my favorite tales. Yeah. Um, you know, five times to Dallas in four years. We know where to stop. We know, you know, you know, like silly things. The the Oklahoma Turnpike confuses me because <laughs> you get on, you drive for about 40 miles, you pay a toll, they give you a receipt, you go to like two exits down, you get off, they give you money back. <laughs> How cool is that? Seriously. Yeah, and, and, then, and then there's the big Indian there. Oh, I got yeah. That's in what Big Chief, Oklahoma. And it's, and it's it's a shame because you can't really take a picture of it because it's across. It's right out of the the um, the toll plaza, so yeah. you'd have to be you have to pull the car over and it's on the other side. You know, it's just it's a shame we couldn't get a picture. And this thing is, I don't know, 50, 80 feet tall. I mean, it's huge. It's cool. It's very cool. So we'll have to find a picture and put it on the website. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we'll have to find that. There's got to be one somewhere. So yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, but, so, yeah. You know, and, and we stop at the Allen Outlet Mall, um, which is about half an hour, not even above uh, north of the show. And it's, it's like we've said before, a great place to um, get out and stretch and unkink the back. And because uh, after driving for 16, 18 hours, you need a little stretch. And uh, we went shopping. And it's just nice to get out and walk around and just like, do some like some window shopping. Yeah, we uh, it's we always hit it at the right time. Of course, we we plan it that way. But uh, yep. you know, it would it would it would stink if it was if we got there and it was closed or something. Yeah, <laughs> doing that in a couple of them. Yeah. So, well, this one makes up for it because we always hit uh, um, we always hit the the. The mall at the same time, so it's always open, and we made our first stop at Coach. And uh, and what did you get? What did you get? Uh, I did get a new purse. 
you know, we, we talk about stopping and I always get to go to coach, but I, I don't ever want to get the impression, give the impression that um, we buy something every time. I just like to look. Uh, we have a couple games we like to play. Um, you know, count how many purses have patent leather trim and, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, every time we see the, the husband chair, we think of Hugh. Yeah. And, uh, but I actually bought a purse. And then we went next door. This is one of the few coach outlets um, that actually has a men's store next to it. And we went in there, and believe it or not, Brian, let me buy him coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a it's a uh, backpack, so it's still the, cool. There's there there was, there was like a little little sliver of leather, like about that big on it. First yeah, it's got some leather trim, but it's it's a nice canvas leather um, backpack. It's for your laptop, and you needed a new one, um, and uh, it's it's just cool. And you didn't think that your laptop would fit in there, but they're smart. I think a woman did this. Uh, they have. Um, what do you call them? Shells, laptop shells, basically. Yes. Yeah, I mean, so that was... you can, it's it's an actual laptop with no guts, and you can fit it inside the backpack to make sure that it fits. It was kind of cool. Yeah, so that was good. Got some shoes, and then we got uh, another pair of winter boots in in Texas. That's because that's where I buy all my winter boots. And uh, <laughs> it is. And then it was about what? Uh, from there, it's about 35, 40 minutes, give or take, to the hotel. Yeah, partly because there was um, construction, but since we, we kind of waited, we, we took a little bit of an extra long stroll uh, so that we wouldn't hit some of the traffic. And uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. As I, bad I didn't as... think the traffic was nearly as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was there's, fine. <laughs> that there's requests to see the, <laughs> the coach. <laughs> 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 we'll put a picture up. Yeah, we'll put a picture. Uh, but but you know, sure, so. the uh, what else do we look at there? We just kind of wandered. Like I yeah, said, we we were right. honestly just trying to kill time and and stretch a little bit. And so it's it's an outdoor mall. It's a strip center, but it's several buildings. And we walked the entire thing, which was nice to uh, to get some steps on the Fitbit, and uh, just uh, kind of our last little moment of peace before we got to the hotel and uh, jumped right into the pen show. Yeah, well, we walk right in, and who do we see? Uh, um, Eddie G in the Eddie bar. Eddie G is at the bar, so that was cool. And, uh, like, uh, how many times this year now have we seen Eddie? We've seen him uh, several times. This seems. was the third? Is it the third? Yeah, I think it was the third time. And then he's going to be in L.A. He'll <laughs> be in L.A., so. Uh, no, it was real cool. Um Gosh, what did we, we well when we got in, it was supposed to have this big rainstorm, right? So we, we pull in and we got there just in time and uh, we go up to the room, we drop off a couple things, we come down and we go to the trading room, which is a side trading room trading room on, on the back. And last year we got there a little bit earlier, I think, or people stuck it out a little bit longer. I'm not sure what the case was, but uh, by the time we got there, uh, Tim Pearson was there and what uh, Mike Walker and John Jenkins. <laughs> in the room that was about it yeah. um, so um, although I did I did drool over a pen on Tim Pearson's table that later you uh, did. I couldn't I, I couldn't find it the next day awesome well <laughs> it was a uh, it was a nice looking red hard rubber uh, Lincoln uh, okay. which is a, a cool pen uh, I have a, a modeled hard rubber version of it it was uh uh, would have been cool to have uh, gotten another one, but uh, it was not yep. meant to be. So, uh, but then it then it we got out of the room and it's pouring rain. Well, we were going to have some help unloading the car, and we I don't remember if they'd arrived or not, but we figured okay, let's unload let's unload the car now, and then be done with it. Uh, except it was like like a hurricane. Yeah, it, it was, was torrential. torrential. Yep. So we just kind of looked at each other and said, dinner. <laughs> so yeah. we went, uh, sat at the bar, uh, had a drink, ordered some dinner, just some appetizers, and holy cow, are the egg rolls at that hotel <laughs> phenomenal? I think we need we need to get a referral bonus for that because I think we told everybody there. We did, we did. We just kept talking roll. about how awesome they were, and everybody kept going and getting them. They're amazing. 
They're amazing. And if if you, if you go next year to the Dallas show, and you should. You should yeah. absolutely great. And because we, we we're sitting there going, yeah, weren't they? We had them last year, weren't the egg rolls pretty good? Yeah, they're awesome. Get them. Um, the wings Phenomenal. are good. Yeah, the wings are good. The wings too. were good. The uh, what else do we have? Uh, chicken we tenders. had uh, chicken tenders, which are you know they're they're all right. They're all right. They were phenomenal. Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah, in fact, I, I, so we're sitting down with um, with Joel <laughs> Hamilton and Cheryl Tyree was there, uh, and uh, Sid Saperstein came over, and Lisa was talking to Sid, and I was talking to Joel, but I was starving, right? So. Um, I was trying to not be rude and just well, like yeah, I know, I know. Nom down I, right know. in front of Sid. Um, well, you know, we've known Joel a little bit longer, I think. So uh, I'm eating and I'm talking to Joel, and then all of a sudden, you know, like I've eaten half the appetizers, right? And I'm looking at those egg rolls, going, "Will Lisa notice if I take one more?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, no, yes, no, I, I better not do that. I better not do that. Unless uh, I be sleeping outside. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so well, actually, we had um, we had an offer. Of some help, uh, um, Tim and uh, Mike and Tim Byler, um, our good friends, uh, had uh, had come over from uh, Little Rock area, and uh, they were coming. Um, they were coming in about the same time we were, so they stopped. They got dinner, and then after we finished up, they came in. So uh, they offered to help us uh, unload our stuff. Of course, uh, it's been raining, um, so I pulled the car around, and it's a little bit lighter now. And as we opened the back, we noticed that the rain had, the water had leaked into the back of the car. Yep. I think, honestly, I think that when I was loading the car, it was so full, I probably pushed it out just a little. It, it wasn't bad, but it definitely was damp. Well, we were fortunate that the, the boxes that did get wet uh, all had stuff in it that was in plastic. Um, yep. Except for like one one cardboard display got a little bit wet, but you, you, it was fine. It was fine. So yeah, uh, it could have it could have been much worse. So uh, we got everything out in about. Uh, did we get it all in one trip? No, oh, we did two trips. Two trips. Two, two trips, trips to the ballroom. For us, that's not bad. It. Yeah, that yep. was great. Well, brought we it into the ballroom. The um, violins, they're just like. Yep. You know. Yeah, we need to hire them. So it was great. It was great. And then uh, just uh, afterwards, went up to uh, up to the room oh, and uh, passed out. Passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I unpacked clothes because we didn't have any major wrinkles. But uh, I don't remember. I yeah. remember laying down, and that was it. Out. Exactly. So I mean, because it was comfy we left, bed. It took us about twenty. Was it twenty-two? Twenty hours. We left right about eight o'clock. Wednesday yeah. night, and I mean, we stopped part way, and we slept for about three and a half hours, or I guess about two and a half hours, and then kept going. Um, but it's a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive. Yeah, so, so Friday morning, we got up, um, went down, started to set up, and then before I know it, I see this. Now it's my own fault, and I accept that. But I see this cluster. Of pen collectors, kind Lisa's of. Lisa's got a radar. I do. I have the feeding frenzy radar, um, and I see everybody. I see several people kind of hunched over one table, and I kind of nudged Brian. I said, "There's a feeding frenzy. You better get over there." And um, so he runs on over, and then it occurs to me, now I'm left with setup. <laughs> <laughs> and he's no, I, over there shopping. That was kind of cool how that worked out, actually. Yeah. No, just kidding. And then, I don't know, 20 minutes later, he comes back with a handful of pens. <laughs> give me money. Give me the yeah. checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> you sent me away, now give me money. Yeah, so um, here's here's a smattering of, uh, of a couple of them here. Yeah, um, he came back with some really nice stuff. Some nice, what do we got here? Got oversized uh, balance. We've got a first-year balance uh, in black, long... Um, um, telephone dialer, as you will. Some really nice color um, of gray with red vein uh, with a fish scale cap band, uh, a flexible nib, uh, cuts down here with a stub nib. I mean, just really, really killer stuff. Um, good color, uh, moire skyline, some interesting skylines. But then I kept, I kept three for myself. What? I kept three for myself. Let me repeat that. <laughs> um, 
this one here, and, and this, I don't know if, if my, I'm using a new camera tonight, so I don't know if it's if it'll pick it up here, if it'll focus on Apparently it. Apparently people like the new camera. In this yeah, time. Well, we're going to get one for you next week. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a really cool early uh, Schaefer, uh, chased hard rubber, but it's got kind of a zigzag um, pattern on it, uh, nickel trim, and it's got a, a number two Schaefer nib on it. Uh, it needs a little nib work, but I can do that. That's no big deal. Uh, really, really cool pen. Very clean, crisp imprint. I really liked it. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of chased hard rubber uh, shapers in my collection. But then I had to take these two. There were two more in the lot. Um, and I just, I, I kept I kept going back to them. And then, and of course, uh, Rob Bader and I seem to be uh, always right next to each other when there's, when there's some action in the room. Uh, I don't know if that's if that's good news or not, but uh, uh, we love Rob. He's a he's a great guy. Um, Rob's awesome. <laughs> um, that man needs to write a book, is what that guy does needs to do. But but so there there are these two little guys here. Look at these guys. Aren't these the cutest things? See that I think if they're that small, they're probably girls. Uh, I think I think if they're okay, that's fine. But if they're this small, then it's no big deal that I take them. Um, what? It's two sterling silver uh, Schaefer ring tops. Um, self-filling nibs. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a, this one is hand engraved. Really, really beautiful. Yep. Um, very They're clean. They're very pretty. Uh, and this one, and I, I particularly like pens like this. I have a number of Watermans like this. Um, smooth um, overlay. Smooth overlay without a ding is really w hard to find. Without a single ding, and watch me drop it. No. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there it's 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 outstanding, outstanding, really, really, really beautiful. So I said, you know what, I'm not gonna let them, um, I'm not gonna let them go. Um, and they were they were from a, a former uh, Dallas Pen Club member, uh, his from his estate. So I thought it was uh, good that they uh, they went together. So yep. uh, we got those. Now we did have a couple fun things go on on Friday. Um, I lost count how many people came up to our table. Looking for an Aziza sighting. Check this out. This is awesome, right? Okay, so I, I you know, and and this is where, if you haven't gone to a lot of pen shows and you just see something on a table and you you're just not sure. I mean, you may have an idea what it's worth, but you, John Holland, number four, eyedropper. Now look at, isn't that cool? That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. It's got the pen on the top. Okay, now check this out. Okay, so that's that's um, an Evans. This is an Evans um, from uh, getting these mixed up. This is Waterloo, Iowa. I think is where these are from. Um, and it's a, it's a, called a hump. Super super nice condition. Um, Please just punch to actually get one. Yep. So that was my finds. That was, those are my finds for Friday. The uh, the show went on really late, and yeah. uh, we we knew that, but around six o'clock and. Uh, I think Joel was there, and then you went out with Cheryl and had a chat. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of have this, think of it like musical chairs. Um, and, and you learn stuff, and you start a conversation, and then it, it takes off kind of on a, a life of its own. So it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun around the busy day. And we were excited because... We only had a couple more hours of people asking us where Aziza was. <laughs> because Aziza was going to be in the house, and oh my god! So it was right about noon. I run over, and you know I'm I'm a hugger. I'm known for that. And so I run over, and I'm like, oh my god, the donuts are here! And I grab the box and I turn around, <laughs> uh -uh. and then put them down and turn around and hug her, and it was awesome. But piece done by Michael Saul that I wanted, but. We got outbid sort of near the end, and that's fine. But uh, I think what we will do is have we will commission a piece from him because it was just beautiful. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. We'll get exactly what we want. Yep. Um, uh, we also so. lost the Monte Grappa book that we bid on. Native St. Louis. Well, I wasn't a native. Well, I'm not a native, native, I mean, but... but... Yeah. Yeah, so Laclede was apparently the person who founded... Pierre Laclede. Pierre Laclede founded St. Louis... Um, and so there's Somebody a lot of things. Me. And I swear I needed like a paper towel to wipe it off because Brian was drooling. It's really cool. Well, here, let, let, let me show it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we ended up uh, ordering a couple. 
Yeah, I mean they're they're not even they're not even out. So no. uh, we did get oh, to take a couple cool. pictures. They're, they're, they're like, very uh, cool. They're sort like of a guilloche ch- pattern. Yeah, guilloche, and then there's there's one with gold trim, and they're like a smoke smoke gray, uh, transparent, and then one of them has uh, like it's like a stealth model, so it's got the black, uh, blackish gray trim and nib. Stop of all places. We saw this card for Aziza, and so we gave it to her. And those of you who know Aziza know that she loves her cats. And you may or may not know, you probably know, that she um, tastes her ink. And so the card has a picture of a cat with a, like a rainbow slushy, And um, it has uh, a kind of a, a striped or a colored tongue. So it looks like it's licked this rainbow snow cone. Um, and it just uh, made us think of, of drinking ink and cats and, and uh, so it was um, I had a blast uh, we both did meeting Lucas Tucker from Scribal Workshop yep. in person oh my god he is awesome and holy cow does that man know his chemistry that dude smart <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he's like Walter White smart yeah it was crazy and it was so fantastic to meet him in person and to hang out and um, talk ink, and uh, uh, he and his dad were there, and his dad is awesome. Uh, they're just really wonderful people, but man, does he know his, his chemistry, and his um, current passion is he's teaching high school chemistry, and uh, so he was talking about trying to find that fine line between blowing things up and not blowing things up, and I don't know. But uh, Lucas gave me a present, and let's see if I can hold this up so you can see it. Is that too shiny? No, that's fine. We totally need to get you a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, he does illuminated manuscripts. And so he, uh, he just kind of walked up and he kind of whispered in my ear and he said, Scripture or Shakespeare? Um, Shakespeare. So it says, uh, we are errant knaves all believe none of us. So I thought that was pretty good. Very cool. Yep. But uh, all hand done, hand colored, it's it's beautiful. So we're going to hang that up in the pen room. I'm a big fan of the illuminated manuscript. Yeah, very cool. And uh, the other thing was we got to see Michael Sull again. Uh, awesome. We knew that he was going to be doing a writing workshop. And he is just so nice. I mean... People were, were drooling over him, literally, and, and Aziza videoed, uh, took a videotape of him um, doing some of his, his um, calligraphy, uh, his Spencerian writing, and it was, it was amazing. But uh, he's just the nicest, most down-to-earth person you'd ever want to meet. Uh, he actually designs bow ties, and the company that Does makes he? his... He does. I learned I know, this. I, I missed this part of the conversation. I commented on his vest. His vest yeah. looked like parchment paper with lines, and it had letters on it. It had the alphabet over and over and over. And I commented on it, and he told me that he designs bow ties, and that the company that makes the bow ties make him a matching vest. Oh. Yeah. So, so I, I need a Michael right. Saul bow tie then. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a word but, to work, um, but that, that would just freak everybody out. <laughs> he was uh, he was looking at some ink and he wanted to make sure that he got some Edelstein amber so we set uh, everything that we had aside for him and then he was so sweet he came back and he said I have something for you okay thinking a hug you know whatever he gave me a mug that he designed yeah, now, isn't really that cool. gorgeous he did all this and it's it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm never going to use it. Oh I'm come gonna, on! No, because then I have it? to wash it. Well, I'll You're put wash it on it my by desk. Hand. Well, I will wash it by hand. But uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then uh, I did have the pleasure of um, taking Aziza over there because I knew she'd want to see him. And uh, when I left. I brought her over, introduced her, and when I left, the two of them were just chatting up a storm, and she was videotaping um, 
he was writing someone's name and it was it was so cool in fact several I think Brian from Kenro was uh, videotaping right next to her so it was it was really cool cool yeah, yeah. yeah. so I it was great to, to just meet some of the people we only email and talk to on the phone now, did did you hear from him when what show he's doing next? I mean, he must be done. Is he going to Columbus? Columbus. Oh, awesome! And then we'll see him again in L.A. So what we need to do is we need to um, uh, maybe in advance, maybe we um, we we send him the uh, the wording that we would like and see if he could yes. do that for us. Yes. So I don't know. Yeah, the he... the mug is beautiful, but we uh, since we lost the um, silent auction piece. And and I don't remember what quote it was. It would have been fine. I mean, it's more for the art than the saying. But if yes. we can have uh, a piece of, of Michael Saul art that is like one of the quotes from our wedding or something, that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. Some of those are really, really cool. So. Yeah. But. And. Uh, and you got. <laughs> you, hey, now, wait, now, hang on. Wait a minute. So. Okay. I got all these pens, and you got like a mug and a illuminated manuscript. I got a boyfriend. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's something Colburn. I need to know. <laughs> yes, Colburn and Christy were there at the show, and you know we got to spend some time with them in between, um, you know, customers and stuff, and. Uh, Saturday, Christy asked Aziza and I if she could take a picture of her husband Colburn's new girlfriends. So, his wife took a picture of his new girlfriends. Uh, I should, I should, maybe I should share the picture. <laughs> Go ahead. Now they were awesome. They are such a perfect couple. Can you see it there? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so it was it was fun. Um, they they were great. They uh, yeah, it was very cool. So so we had a good time. Um, awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, you never feel guilty. Actually, I think <laughs> my pens cost. Well, anyway. Yes, yes. As a matter, of, let's uh, let's let's not uh, skate over that. Your pens were more expensive than mine. They were forty two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my point exactly. Uh, it was a little forty-two dollars and forty-nine cents, I think, was the, the total. Yes, that's, yes. That's, that's what um, a little complicated the way the payment thing was set up, but yeah, uh, that's right. I uh, I did get two pens. Uh, ironically, I brought I bought two Pilot <laughs> Preras. And now I know some of you are thinking, well, that's kind of stupid because you sell Preras. You can just go to the pen room and take one out. Not these. Yeah, those uh, are cool. Ivory. It's uh, not really white. It's definitely a, a creamy ivory. It's kind of a little, just a hair more creamy than, um, than, um, than milk. And then... This pale blue, like a robin's egg blue almost. Now that is cool. That is cool. Yep. So, I... <laughs> well, I don't even know how many colors there are. I don't know. But it was fun. It was cool. And I got pens. Yeah, all right. Usually you're there the one who gets all the pens. Well, you know, I've been, I've been real good lately, so... I know. That could change this weekend, though. Yeah, so moving right along. Nice segue, by the Thank way. Thank you. Got to move wow. on here. So we just get home Monday, and we're still uh, in the process of getting. Uh, we've got some shipping that we need to take care of, which uh, we should be uh, getting caught up tomorrow. Yep. Uh, it's tomorrow Wednesday already. Yes. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> so tomorrow's Wednesday, uh, and then Thursday we leave again for the Detroit show. So actually, we we have not yet unpacked. We're partly unpacked. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we we tore we tore the boxes apart tonight trying to find those stickin' pilots, because um, we 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 thought that they were in white boxes. Um, well, they are. But, but anyway. I, yeah. Anyway. So anyway, we tore tore the room apart trying to find them, but we we haven't unpacked yet, and we have to repack. 
uh, to go to the Michigan Pen Show, which is in Detroit, at the uh, the Met Hotel in Troy. Uh, there is a link on our website for that if uh, you're interested in attending. It's a it's a, it's a good uh, small club type show. Uh, we always have a good time going, um, and it starts on Friday. Uh, September 27th, uh, dealer trading and setup. This is nice because it's in the afternoon, yep. uh, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So we get to get in there. You know, actually, we're we're gonna roll in uh, early Friday morning. Hopefully, get like some, two in the morning. Sleep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, general admission it runs three to seven, so uh, it's gonna run late on uh, on Friday, which is nice. Um, and then I think we're doing dinner. With, yes. Uh, uh, a couple people. Yep. And then Saturday is the uh, the busy day, ten to six. Uh, and we like Detroit for we like the uh, the Michigan show for a, a couple reasons. Um, it's close, <laughs> which is yeah. nice after At a, this point. several long drives. Uh, it's not really busy, so you can kind of wander around the room. It's it's basically one big room and a little annex room. And so you can go and, and do a little bit of shopping and still keep an eye on your table, which is nice. It's it's a little less pressure. Um, it's also a good um, way to kind of end the the year of the Penn Show circuit. Uh, Columbus is last, but it's the second to last show, and uh, it's just nice to to be a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, we've got some. We found some really great stuff there. We um, have several times. I think we have we have bought uh, both of our two of our favorite inks there. My, uh, you got yep. me a bottle of uh, Mont Blanc Bordeaux uh, in the box, and I believe two years ago we found uh, two bottles of uh, Penman Sapphire. Oh, at a stupid awesome price! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fifteen dollars a bottle or something like that. Oh, I think I think it was. Yeah, it was, it was like twenty five dollars a bottle or for two for thirty thirty or something. <laughs> Like the math did not work it out. It didn't work out, yeah. But so we took it. Uh, so it's it's a good show. It's definitely a club show. Uh, they don't seem to be all that eager to expand. Uh, it's manageable for them, and and everybody likes it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's it's just a, a fun, friendly show. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I, I like it. It's uh, it's. A lot less, uh, a lot less work than it is going to some of these other shows. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so if you're in the area, definitely uh, come and check it out. Um, we'll be there. So, but there is no uh, bar we'll and there's no restaurant. Yeah, I don't know. Where, oh, there's a. Um, there's a big, huge mall. The mall is close by. Like just uh, down the uh, less than a half a mile away. Yeah. Or something like that. So. Uh, uh, no, it's a couple miles. Is a couple miles? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, enough food and, and, and everything there that you, you, you can possibly imagine. So if, if we're, oh, yeah, we're going to PF Chang's this year, we need to actually make the, uh, the arrangement in advance, I think. Yep. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's a good show. Um, everybody is, is just happy to be there. Everybody, um, all the vendors are friendly. And uh, there are a couple of the uh, Michigan Pen Club members who really only go to perhaps Michigan and Columbus. So it's uh, great to be able to see them. Captain Kirk? Captain Kirk will be there. The uh, Secretary Jerry of the... Oh, I, like, I love Jerry. Jerry's got nice <laughs> nice stuff. He's got nice um, stuff, and he's a, he's a good man, too. He's really... He's, he's a, a trip. Really yeah. yeah. Uh, we're usually next to Mike Crutt, yep. uh, who's a blast. And uh, yeah, just just a lot of nice people, and and we have a good time. And it's a short drive. <laughs> we like that a lot. I like the short drive part. Yeah, in fact, we're leaving Saturday night. Uh, we have stayed over Saturday night and then left Sunday morning, but um, we decided we're going to leave Saturday night this time and get home yep. so we can spend more of the day Sunday here. So unpacking and doing everything we need to do. So. Uh, and for those that are that are inquiring in the uh, in the chat, this is Landon Kugel's Oktoberfest, <laughs> <laughs> which which actually uh, which which re reminds me. Is it? Uh, there, go ahead. There was a beer on tap at the bar in Dallas, and it was a local. Was it a Houston? Which I, I realize is not near Dallas. Um, was it a Houston brew called the uh, Zipper Zapper Ziggenbach? Ziggenbach? 
I think so. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you people from Texas, you, you're laughing at me because you, you already drink it, but uh, good stuff. Nice, uh, nice uh, amberish. It was uh, yummy. Beer. Yeah, it was yummy. So we, 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 we tried to share we... a beer. <laughs> 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 you know, for most things, we share really well. Um, pens and beer, not so much. Yeah, so uh, it works out. So yeah, uh, uh, but you know that's a that's a, a really interesting segue it into is, it uh, is. into something new and um, new is uh, <laughs> field notes drink local limited edition. These are so cool. Uh, and I want to make a I want to make a a, um, a comment. Um, I had uh, when I initially put them up today, I stupidly put them up. Um, <laughs> As one, as one product. So uh, they are indeed. I, I, I have since fixed that. So um, there are there is a, uh, an ale and a lager um, set. So in each one of them comes with a um, a, a coaster. Coaster. Yes. Really, really nice. We uh, we received the notice um, <laughs> while we were on the way to Dallas. Oh, there you go. Yeah, these are pretty. Um, so we received the notice on the way to Dallas, um, ordered them, and I believe they will be here tomorrow. Yep, they'll be in tomorrow. So yep. um, they are. Um, so yes, Paul, if you <laughs> go on the site, it's fixed now. So um, I think uh, Tracy said she was Tracy trying to do it too. Uh, I don't know. We we we. I had it up for about. An hour where it was it was incorrect, but it's it's uh, it's correct now. So yeah, so. yep. These these are very cool. Um, I hope we ordered enough. I know that uh, the last um, LE, the night sky, blew out. Uh, we got lucky and uh, found a box kind of hidden, but uh, I hope we ordered enough this time. These look really cool. Yeah. Well, we always keep uh, always keep one for ourselves, so that's uh... well. We didn't keep a night sky. We didn't keep a night sky? Yeah. <laughs> I know. That was the cool so anyway. one, too. Anyway, I so know. anyway, yeah, we have them. Uh, they are available. Um, yep. And uh, as soon as they come in tomorrow, they'll ship out. So yep. So don't uh, if you're if you're if you're a beer drinker like uh, we are on occasion, um, don't delay. These are cool. And you know, field notes, you love your field notes. I do. I I I don't. Where did I put mine? <laughs> I took it out of my pocket. <laughs> you had the one I, in your pocket. It was just so um, beat up and tattered. The cover yeah, was well, coming off. But I had it. I had it in my pocket for four months. Yeah, it was day. awesome. Um, I love it. It's great. So I mean, I finally had to replace and, um, but uh, yeah. So, so anyway, we is. we have a number of other things that are arriving within the next week. Uh, but Brian won't let me mention them. We do like to <laughs> not. We, we don't like to mention things until we actually either have them in hand or at least have tracking, um, in case something happens. Uh, you know, there's no point in talking about, you know, things well, that aren't coming in the. There's, in the, for there's, six there's weeks. that whole 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 other side of the fact that you know I have to take a picture of it and put it up on the website. I know. The, I know. The day I job know. gets in the way and I, two exactly. pen shows in two weeks and all that stuff. So. I don't want to. Somebody in the uh, chat was asking about Columbus. It is absolutely oh, yeah. worth yeah. going to Columbus. Yeah, pl yeah. If you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take my word for it. That's a fun show. Now we talk about uh, talk about various. You know, every show's got its own charm and character. Columbus is one of my favorites. Um, and yes, I know I say that about everyone, but this is definitely one of my favorites because Columbus has two, <laughs> count them, two auctions. Two auctions. Um, um, there's a dessert party. Oh, well, the dessert party right before the the auction on Saturday. Terry is the smart man. He gets you sugared up and and offers you some uh, like coffee with Kahlua or oh and real whipped cream. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and this and cream probably, puffs. Probably and... if the tables are six feet long, there is probably eighteen to twenty four feet of yummy. Pastries and cakes and yep. and little oh my god yeah he does he does it upright um, there's there's that and then um, another I think uh, on th Thursday night is the wine and cheese party yep 
which is which is really which is also before the auction. Um, uh, Friday night, uh, I believe, is the pizza party the pizza that Pandemonium party. puts on. Yeah, always well attended, not to be missed. Uh, there's d dozens of pizzas. I mean, it's crazy. Um, and then that's that's before the PCA meeting. Yes. Uh, the annual PCA Where we meeting, have which cookies is cookies and coffee. Cookies and coffee, so more food. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't need to really feed yourself. Just hang out at all the after events, and and you're good. Yeah, and well, I mean, there's there's seminars. Yeah, it's. Uh, I uh, and it's huge. It's really a big show. I mean, there's a it's lot of very big. But uh, Terry is a very gracious host. He's got a very calming and soothing manner, and um, he is a vendor, so he knows what vendors want. He knows he's been in the business for a long time. He knows what the attendees want, and you've got a little bit of everything, and it's it's just a great show. So. Yeah, definitely worth uh, worth checking out. We'll talk about it more um, as it gets closer. As it gets closer, and we actually have uh, we have I won't I won't mention too much about it, but we have uh, a special guest planned. Yes, it'll uh, be fun. Very very special guest. We're we're, we're totally excited. Uh, I'm yeah. stoked. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yep. uh, Anyway, uh, yes, go. <laughs> All right. So shout outs. This could take an hour. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and. All right, so first of all, everybody in the chat, you guys rock. We've been having a lot of fun. Um, people at the show, oh, my goodness, where do I start? Eddie G and Marianne, yeah, awesome to see you guys. And <laughs> I never would have known anything about competitive dart throwing. That was great. And the coffee Friday morning was just heaven. It was so fun. <laughs> yep. Um, Ted H. We talked about him last week. He was gonna make the show kind of this destination trip. It was awesome to meet him. Um, and some of you guys should consider doing the same thing for a show down the road. Just go to a show. Make a decision. Go to a show. Lots of people um, ask for roommates. So maybe go on some of the boards and see if anyone else is looking to go and maybe share a room and share some expenses. Uh, yeah, I did Zoss, that for years. Zoss is a good one. Uh, yep. uh, people are, in fact, somebody was just asking, uh, what, just this week, somebody was asking for uh, a roommate for Columbus. Exactly. So. Um, Thomas Q, oh my god, the CD <laughs> was awesome. Now you guys know we always play Willie Nelson on the road again um, as we leave for a trip. But uh, Thomas had sent us um, <laughs> the Blue Dogs. Blue Dogs, yeah, I think is what it was. Uh, the CD of uh, some of his favorite songs from one of his favorite groups. It was great. Bill Bill, my favorite song. A couple times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was wonderful. Um, Aziza. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, my God. <laughs> no words. No words, yeah. Just no words. Uh, let's see. Adrian. Big hi to Adrian. Uh, a big, big hug to Tiffany and uh, yes to the Omas, by the way, Tiffany. Uh, shout out to Harold, uh, to Brent. Uh, I'm glad the pens will work out for the kids. Um, Rainer. Got to meet Rainer. That was fun. Um, shout out to Pace. And I need to give a big, big, big hug and shout out to... Um, Rachel and her dad John and I'm not sure if it's Lisa or Lissa and she's going to yell at me for getting it wrong it's got two S's in it um, but she said that Lisa was a good name so big hugs I'm sorry uh, Leslie absolutely it was a blast um, John D John M and Sterling I gotta tell you man Sterling is Sterling he was how old was he? Seven? Eight? He was I, very well behaved. Incredibly well behaved. Um, having a good time with dad, but um, never seemed to be bored. Always did all the right things at the table. He was amazing. Absolutely wonderfully behaved. And, you know, we see a lot of kids at shows, and some get bored, um, some just pick up everything. Um, some are trying to pull the parents around. Uh, Sterling was amazing. He was golden. Yep. It was good, right? 
Yeah, very it? good. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's <laughs> nice. That's nice. Um, big, big, big hugs to Colburn and Christy. We had a blast with you guys. Yeah. And uh, Colburn, man, you are a trip. And Christy, you are a saint. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I'm sure there are other people I've forgotten. I'm I'm sorry. I tried to write down as many as I could. Um, and then a big shout out to Eric, who we heard from. <laughs> it's always nice to get a a text in the middle of the day from him. Yeah, and uh, Hugh and Carol. And I need Carol to email me and tell me what kind of cappuccino maker she has. Ooh, we're going to get into a little cappuccino maybe? I think we are. Winter's coming. I used to have an espresso cappuccino maker. I had a, a Krups, I think is what it was, hmm. years ago. Well, we don't have one now. So. It didn't work so well. <laughs> Carol Carol has one. When she made this cappuccino, it was oh, awesome. Yeah. So, okay. yep. Very good. Uh, and again, everybody in the chat, thank you. So... That's it? Hang on. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Very cool. Um, anything else? A uh, little plug to uh, like us on Facebook. We're going to be hosting some Facebook-only events soon once we're done traveling. Uh, so make sure you're connected with us on Facebook. And uh, don't forget, if you like this podcast on YouTube... Like it by giving us a thumbs up. Very cool. Yep. Um, I just like to say that. If you like it, like it. If you like it, like it. All right. Yep. I like you. <laughs> I like my new pens. All right. I love my new mug. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to move on while you, you drool over All here. right. You move on. Uh, thank you for uh, for watching tonight. And uh, tune in next week. Uh, Tuesday we'll be doing the Detroit Pen Show review. Um Comments, suggestions for topics, uh, please use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. Or catch us online. Email is brian at andersonpens.net. Or lisa at andersonpens.net. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Twitter, uh, follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash andersonpens. Definitely check us out on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash andersonpens. Uh, our blog is blog.andersonpens.net. And the website is andersonpens.net. Uh, join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming new products or special sales. Thanks for listening to our podcast. We will see you next week. Ink it up. <laughs> I just like to say.